We are live. What's up, everybody? Let's make it happen. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully, you all were trading. It was a great day to trade the market. Um, my team, my students made some good money on OCGN. What a fantastic trade it was. What a fantastic trade it was. So let's make it happen. Jump on the live. I'm going to drop the link in. So for those that want to jump and request me, let's make it happen. We're a beautiful show. Make it happen. Let's, let's start posting this link up. Get people on. Let's talk about the trading day. Boom, boom, boom. All right. There we go. Now let's post it in chat. Anyone who wants to jump on can jump on. Let's go. Guys, talk to me. How was your trading? What's been going on? Let's drop it. Join the live. Boom. Boom. Send. There you go. What's up, Miss Fit? What's that? Send the message. Cool. All right, guys. So beautiful day trading. Uh, I again I don't advocate trading these tickers, but it was a good learning experience with ticker OCGN. Hit thumbs up if you traded OCGN. And if you have tickers that are pump and dumps that you're stuck in. Just pump and dump tickers in general that you want me to look at. Drop them in the comment section. We'll do it. Hey, Christine. What's up, John? Caprice in the building. What's up, guys? Hope all is well. Guys, when you jump on the live, just do me a favor. Mute your video. Mute your audio. And then I'll bring you guys on. Fred, baby boy. You were missed at the seminar, but I appreciate you sending Aubrey. Aubrey was awesome. Great questions he asked. Phenomenal guy. What's up, Michael? Matthew. Matthew, you were missed live trading today. Where, where were you today? You were missed with the live trading. Where the hell's Matthew? What is up, Sophie? Good to see you as always. Boom. You guys, just a little update. You can let people know for Christmas, that whole Christmas break, thinking of going to Egypt. So my students, you are down to come. More details will be sent soon. So boom, you guys are down to come. One of my traders, Mustafa, he's from Egypt. He's going. He invited me. I said, done. Let's do it. I was supposed to do the Bahamas, but I've been there so many times. I haven't been to Egypt. So I'm like, let's do that. Let's do that. So boom. He's the baby boy. <laughs> I feel you, Fred. I feel you. So guys, what did you trade? <coughs> what did you guys trade? Let's go. Drop me your pump and dump tickers. Again, jump on the live. Join it. Get on. Let's make it happen. Alexander Flores Padron. What's up? I was at Amazon. They're being strict ASF with phones. I can't even bring phones to the building starting next year. Wow. Bezos is getting hard over there. Really hard with the rules. Okay. Ricardo, what's up? Ricardo, what's happening? Calvin, all is well. Listen, shout out to you, Calvin. That was a really nice message you posted on one of my YouTube videos. I appreciate that message. Thank you. Manip manipulative workplace. Well, that's your motivation to work harder when it comes to trading the market, uh, more investments into cryptocurrencies, Matthew. To get rid of that rat race. Boom. But the nine to five fuels it. I traded Tesla today. Nice. Nice. Yeah, the whole team today, Jose. I don't think, Jose, I saw you on, on if you're my Jose for my seminar students. Um, I, I don't think I saw you on the live trading today, but OCGN, my God. What a beautiful stock to trade. All right, so we're going to look at tickers. Let's look at tickers. Boom. If anyone wants to jump on the live, you can turn on your video, turn on your audio, jump on with me. Let's make it happen. All right. Let's pull up the charts. Boom. Let's pull up the charts. Make it happen. This one. This one. Uh, we'll look at OCG. Huh? What a trade today. And it's going back to where I said it was going to go. Nice. I love it. All right, let's pull up the tickers. Uh, we'll do it from here. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these and start off fresh. Okay, go away, bro. And one more. All right, we'll just leave OCGN on the on the board. We're going to 15 minutes. Boom. Not OCGN. Oh. How did it end up doing? Yeah, it's going back down. It's going back down. All right, cool. 
Prague. Okay, we'll look at Prague. Professor, just know what I sent you is a new place I'm putting you on. I got you. I'll check it, Matthew. Ever since the IG's been going, the, the telegrams now get flooded. But it's cool. It's how it's supposed to be. Um, P R O G. Let's add that to the list. P R O G. Cool. Cool, cool. Jeremiah, what's up? Noel. Noel made a killing today. Love it. I really hope you do that activity. I got you, Matthew. I'll check it out. Igura, hey, Professor, when is today's live session going up on the website? It's already up, baby boy. It's already up. When you go check your private seminar portal, you can see the live trading, the entire uh, from 9 a.m. So I think we ended at like 1 p.m. So boom. Uh, hi, Professor. Tracy, you were missed today. You were missed on the live. I was asking for you. Matt, by next year, you won't even need that job, the way you've been trading. Boom. There you go. Michael, what's up? Pulls a bold move on Prague. Average up, still $2 under asking. Uh, bold, but beautiful. I also taken $1,200 profits. Nice, Michael. Good job. I love it. What's up, Ruben? Um, Polo, B-R-K dot A. Okay. B-R-K. I don't even think I've ever added a period here. Berkshire? Lafrique? Why are you trading? Why are we trading? Berkshire. I'll look at it. But why is this even mentioned? Oh damn! <laughs> it jumped one thousand four hundred eighty-nine dollars. Damn! Damn! No wonder. I'm like, why does it look like this? <laughs> Hold up! Hold up! This is like Ethereum. <laughs> Berkshire did like an Ethereum move over here. <laughs> God damn. All right, Warren Buffett. Let's get rid of that. I don't even want to look at that. All right, cool. Cool. Um, Ruben, this some of your stage two plays you did on YouTube a few weeks ago back. Most are green. I love it, Ruben. I love it. All right, guys, jump on the live. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about mindset. Let's talk about trading. The link is pinned. So let's make it happen. The link is pinned. You can jump on any time. Jump on any time. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Boom. Let's see. Let me try to post it again. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Let's see. Nope. That definitely doesn't work. Let's try that again. That's not, that doesn't work. Post that again. What's up, Steven? I see you. Why can't I post it again? That's weird. Join the live and paste. Let's go. There you go. Let's make it happen. Guys, let's go. Jump on with me. Talk about your experience today. Seminar students, anybody. Let's talk. Let's bring in your tickers. Let's go. Let's go. Steven, what's the word? Good to see you today. You working at Mercedes, I saw. Sorry, I missed the live trading. Work has been crazy. Hopefully by this time next month, I'll be able to trade. I got you. I got you. Scala, what's the word? What's up? Boom. So I'll wait for people to jump on, but until then, uh, let's talk about OCGN. So OCGN was a trade my traders took today. And let's, let's talk about it, right? Let's get rid of all the indicators, let's get rid of all that. Let's go to the daily chart. So shout out to Noel, he picked up on this. There we go. This thing was actually, that's weird, but it was actually gapped up when we saw it. It was super backed up, uh, gapped up and we're like, I'm like, I don't think I wanna trade this. But then I'm like, you know what, we'll do it. 
it'll be a good learning experience on that. That's number one. It'll be a good learning experience. So we did trade this bad boy because if you look at it, it's going to 15 minute chart for a second. It got pumped in after hours, Monday night, and then pre-market, I guess it came down and then it took off again. So my traders were in this. My traders were in this trade right here. And oh, the money to be made. Whenever they're ready to jump on, they'll make it happen. Whenever. Ticker BKKT. Good look at that chart. B-K-K-T. Cool. Guys, it's keeping me pumping dump tickers. I'll look at it. Smash that like button. Thank you, Ruben. John, how often are you doing the live train on here, Professor? I miss it. John, I do it every Tuesday. Same time, baby boy. If you're the same John that I know from um, IG, Tuesdays and Fridays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Oh, wait. Why am I the only one that liked the live? There's 16 likes. It's all good. I like the I hit the like button. Thank you, Tracy. All right. So let's let's go to the daily chart for a second, right? By the way, OCGN moved from $8 today to $13. I usually don't trade stocks like that, but it was a good mover. It was a good mover. So let's look at this. Let's zoom out. Boom. As you can see, it looks like this thing biotech, of course. Biotech stocks are always crazy. Always. Wait, do I need to zoom out? I feel like they can't see the full board. Hold on. You guys can't see the full board. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Boom. Okay. There we go. So if you notice, it had it does these crazy moves. Look at this. Look at this. It just gaps up. And then gaps down. By the way, this was halted today too. See this? This is why I usually don't like stocks that, uh, like this. But again, learning experience. There's nothing wrong with trading it if you know what I was, if you're doing. So I guided my students. I was there. So let me show you something, right? Let's go to one minute for today. Let me show you what happened. Great. Pumped up with it. Here we go. Here we go. So the reason why, here it is right here. Here it is right here. Talking about pump and dumps. So my students, again, if anyone, guys, if you want to jump on, jump on with me. So we can, we could talk about it together. We did not trade from this time to this time. No trade. But once it's settled and started consolidating, we're like, all right, get ready. We could have taken the trade. And we did take the trade. We were in this. We were in this trade right here. And then we got out of the trade. What was it? I see some of my students watching. What was it that we knew that we should have got out the trade? What indicator were we looking at exactly to know to get the hell out of this trade? Anyone? Let's see. Ken, what's up? Okay, you guys are dropping tickers. Okay, Chris, I see it. I'll put it in a second. Professor, are you from Lindenhurst? I was going to tell you in the morning. That's actually not too far from me. No, Stephen, I'm not from Lindenhurst. That's where my cookie place is. That's where I go to get my cookies. I'm uh, from Chonky Cookies in Lindenhurst, actually. So, boom. Uh, Kyle, what's up, baby boy? Lena, what's up, Lena? Late, madam. Get my original position and did not take profits, but I'm still up on it. Oh, on, on this one? MACD, RSI, okay? It wasn't the MACD. It wasn't the MACD. Jose got it. We looked at the RSI that helped us get out the trade. And I'm going to show you what it looked like in a second. RSI, Emmanuel, okay. Michael, RSI. Evil Tio, RSI. How you guys know it was RSI? How did you guys know it was RSI? That's interesting. How'd you guys know that? You guys weren't there. 
exit on high RSI. Wow. Okay, tell me how you guys do that. That's pretty impressive. You guys weren't even there. I'll show you. By the way, how did I know I could take this trade? Let me show you. Came down, but. And that was a wrap right here. The XYZ staircase pattern. <laughs> Continuous upwards move. And I'll show you what RSI looked like that I said, make sure you get out the trade. Because imagine trading this, having a good time, and then this bad boy taking all your profits away. This is why I don't personally trade these. This is the benefit of scalp trading. You're in and out, in and out, and you don't get greedy. You don't get greedy. That's the beautiful thing right there. Boom. All right, let me see. Money flow, ah, oh, money flow gangs in the building. What up, MFG? Shout out to Gerald Peters, Full Auto 11. Mr. Peters, the best, the best in the game. It was in the danger zone. No, it wasn't in the danger zone. You go right, it wasn't in the danger zone. We have been watching you. I see that, Chris. You messed on another live, good. Because I traded it and exit because it, it was over 70 on the daily. Yesterday was 64 on the daily. We all know because we learned from you, Professor. Thank you. Professor, I'm doing well on my steel stock CLF. I have it at 570 and it reached its 52 week high of whoa. Whoa, wow. that's 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 sick. Good job, Lena. What up, Daryl? Apple High Professor, a little late. It's okay. Jump on the live. I dropped the link. So jump on the live. Jump on the live. Boom. Boom, boom. All right. So let me show you what it looked like. Let me show you what it looked like. Let's go to the 15 minute chart. And Let's pull up the RSI. Go to today. Okay, cool. All right, I don't need MACD. Let's get rid of MACD. So I'm just going to show you. Okay, get rid of all the support that is fine. Too much noise. Get rid of the VWAP. Okay, right here. All right, here we go. Okay, boom. Right here. So my traders, we were in this trade right here. And when it peaked, I said, look at the RSI. Nobody take the trade. It's going to hit resistance because I call the 70 resistance. One, it, once it hit it, it came crumbling down. So if anyone tells you that indicators, real traders don't use indicators and all that nonsense, ignore them. Ignore them because RSI is awesome. RSI is awesome. And it will help you big time to know a lot of things. A lot of you struggle with is when do I exit my position? When do I exit my trade? This helps you know when to exit the trade right here. Keep that in mind. Okay. Boom. There you go. That's what really helped. All right. Let's see. Let's pull up some tickers that you guys get and we'll analyze it. If you have questions, boom. All right. Let's go. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I don't want to miss anybody's sticker. Guys, if I missed your tickers, please drop them again. I'll, I'll put them in, in the box. Put them in the box. Okay, I got BK, got BKKT. What's the next one? TIGR. I'm trying to, I'm asking for like pump and dumpers, by the way. That's what I'm asking for. So hopefully you guys are giving me pump and dumpers. What's the next one? I, I, N, N. I, I, N, N. Cool. 
Okay, what else? I I N W B X. Wallbox. Okay, never heard of that one. What else we got? Uh, I'll look at CLF. Lena's in there from Big Profits. CLF. MRO. Givo. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Mark. Oh, get out of Mark. Do not be in Mark. Period, guys. Do not be in Mark. One of my traders was in Mark since May. He finally got out the trade with profits. That was a bag holder right there. I'll, I'll pull up Mark, but get the hell out of Mark. Get the hell out of Mark. What is Mark anyway? What is Remark holding? Well, tell me related to crypto. Um, boom. Ready? Let's go. Let's make it happen. Hey, Professor. What's up, Olga? How you doing? BNGO is stage two now? Okay. Let's keep up these, and then I'll get to those then. Boom. Let's go. So let's look at them. Let's look at Prague. Let's go on the daily chart. Let's go. Oh, dang. Hey, this doesn't look like a pumping number. This looks like a regular chill stock. But this is kind of an interesting move right here it's doing. What an interesting stage two it has. Very interesting. All right, let's do it. All right, it was on a stage one from 87 cents to $1.20. And then once it broke, stage one, now it's on a stage two, but it's going wild. Wild moves up, wild moves down. What do you guys notice here? When you look at it on a stage two, what do you guys see? Do you guys see more red or do you see more green? Tell me that, guys. Tell me that. Break that down for me. Andrew, baby boy. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Uh, mate, just uh, I thought I'd jump on, see what, see what you're up to, mate. <laughs> Thank you for jumping on. I appreciate you. So talk to me. How was trading today? OCGN, talk to me. What did you learn? Guys, uh, if you don't know Andrew, um, Andrew, can I tell them who you are? Of course. Andrew is one of, the, uh, one of my students. He came to the virtual seminar this weekend. He is uh, the owner of the Click Clack Hotel in Medellin, Colombia. I met him at a party in Medellin, Colombia when I was with Mark Palumbo, my mentor. So boom, he's the man. This is not only Click Clack, he owns many other things. And so boom, this might be awesome. And we're gonna par we're partner up, partnering up to do things together. So that's conversation for another day. Very I don't exciting. need some yeah. one person to hear it and then problem. So boom. The floor is yours, Andrew. Yeah. Talk to me. Well, today was uh well let's go back to the you know the the initial uh, seminar. Um and if anyone's on the fence about doing it, definitely get into it. And um I've done a lot of different stuff uh, in terms of reading up on 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 trading and and different strategies and things like that. I've been in different groups and just taking my time. As Professor said, I've I've got a lot going on, so I'm not in a rush. So I've been doing my due diligence in terms of uh, strategies to, that that work and. And the great thing about the professor, which I, I know a lot of you guys know, because I've you know you you've got a pretty pretty big cult following these days um, in terms of diehard supporters. So what, what basically the way that he does it, he breaks it down really well. But the, the, the big thing that I like, it's not, it's not get rich, although you can get rich quick. It's a, it's not, that's not the, that's not the, the, the method that he teaches. It's, it's, uh, you know, reduce risk, um, you know, st stay in for as long as you need to, but but have all of the indicators that will help you, you know, navigate through a, 
a really, really smooth trade, you know, and, and, and stay, you know, which is, you know, as we know, 90% is probably up in your head. So the way that he lays it out that, you know, it takes away a lot of the noise and confusion and, and all of that stuff, which is, which is a huge benefit to, you know, anyone trading, especially you guys like myself, but, you know, if you're interested in, in getting an understanding of that, I would definitely hit him up and, and, and take the, the leap of faith because he does, does, give more value than, uh, you know, one else out there in the market and what he's tr- teaching is the truth. So um, that's where it's at in my, my, my humble opinion. But uh, in terms of today's trading, it was fantastic. It was, uh, he called it to the T. He, he got into a pretty volatile pump and dump um, and, uh, but, but, but called it perfectly and, and wrote it up. Everyone made some profits. And uh, yeah, I, I uh, think it was a, a great session for anybody to have a look at if, if they've got access to it. I don't know if it's open to the, the public, but uh, anyone in previously who had done the seminar definitely has access to it. But it was a great session and yeah, called it to the T. So yeah. Thank you. Thank Do you. Andrew. Well. First of all, thank you for all the kind words. I appreciate you. One question for you. By the way, um, that session he's talking about is only open to the seminar students. Again, if you guys are watching, it is up. I will give the link to the old seminar students from the past. I'll drop the link after the live is done. I, my tech guy did send me that link, so boom. Now, Andrew, here's the question for you. We were, I was teaching you guys for four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday today. What day do you feel was the one that hit you the most and was like, oh, damn, I, I get it. What was it? Give me that. Um, I think it was more more the setup of, of your screens as you were talking about the RSI and MACD on the 15. I think that was sort of, I was, I had been focusing on the shorter time frames a lot more um, to get my guidance um, as in my anchor North star, but the North star shifting it back to um, the 15 was, you know, as I said, less noisy, less thought, you know, less panic, less FOMO, less all these other things going on in your, you know, in, in your head, which, which makes it a lot easier. Um, also, the changing of the candles was a, uh, you know, from the normal candles that uh, most people trade with, um, just makes it a lot cleaner on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the graphs, which, which, you know, reduces a lot of red when you're in the right trades unless you want red on, on when you're shorting, but um, <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, the, uh, just little things, right. There was a lot of, like, as I said, I've done a lot of different sort of uh, background research, including a lot of the things that you recommended previously, but being there in the seminar actually helped a lot in terms of just a cup, you know, probably three or four little golden nuggets that, connected a lot of other things that I had already known, but, you know, together, it's all about really um, layering knowledge on top of each other, connecting the dots to it. And, and while you're doing it live, it all, you know, you see things in a, in a 360 degree view, not just a, oh shit, I've got this or, oh no, you know, this. And then you, you forget about five things and you, you, you're hitting your head because you didn't follow the plan, but you know it becomes a lot more intuitive reading and watching the graphs in a way that's easy because there's not so much noise, and that I think is a huge thing, right? If you can reduce reduce that and just focus and be laser and have confidence in 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 what's happening in front of you and take accordingly, that's that's the power of being a good trader, right? Um, whereas being a novice, which I still am, but, um, you, you, you just tend to have a lot of self doubt or, you know, am I meant to get in now? Am I not? Was it too, all these other things. So those things that you have, have sort of said your trading technique around it really help with, 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 you know, alleviating noise and, and focusing on the, you know, your, your process. And you're very um, strict on on your rules, which is which is critical. You know, it's a it's not it's not gambling when you're when you're put stacking the odds in your favour because you're doing the same things over and over again. Doesn't matter how green it looks, 
that hit certain things and whatnot, and, you know, happen to the live trade, get out, don't be greedy and um, don't have FOMO because you know that, you, you know, you, you, it's not the right time to get in because of your, your rules. Correct. I love it, Andrew. Thank you. What a great analysis. By the way, I see you, Aubrey. I see you, Evelyn. Day three, day three, absolutely. Guys, jump on, Aubrey, Evelyn. Jump on. Again, the link is active. Jump on just like Andrew did. Talk about what was it about day three. So jump on, 100%. So we're working on gaining our XP points. That's what it is, Tracy. That's what it is. That's what it is for all of you when you come to the seminar, when you come to learn. Now it's, Andrew, what do you think the next steps are for you now? Now that you've completed it, all the dots have been connected, what is the next steps to become a consistent trader? Well, I think I'm still in the process of finding my tickers. I think that's a really important thing. Owning your tickers in terms of, you know, trading in a background that, you you know, it's like the back of your hand. You end up understanding it really well. Um, I think that that is undervalued in terms of a strategy to actually focus on because you know where it's bouncing, you know where it's going, you know, you can have, you, can, you have that insider knowledge on, on what, the probabilities are based on historical um, behavior that you've gone through before. Instead of bouncing around between tickers, which I think is uh, something that sort of paralyzes you in, in many ways because it's just, you know, you, that, that and FOMO kicks in and, you know, just, just quietening down all the noise and making sure that you're actually, you know, you're in control of the environment that you're trading in as much as possible. And doing that, I think, you know, while I, whilst I have a good idea about what tickers I'm going to, to do, I'm going to chart more out and, and make sure that I know that I, you know, I'm in love with the tickers and, you know, then go from there. But um, I think that's the biggest thing that I need to do. And then also because I think I'm going to be traveling a little bit, I need to get a, a portable setup that, um, you know, complements, um, you know, being anywhere in the world to do it. So um, they're the two big things for me. Once I've got that, obviously the banking issues that I've already told you about, that's the third one. But, um, but other than that, uh, those two things are probably the main things. I really want to find my ticker. Um, I want to get my, because the setup that you have as well is simple uh, and really easy to follow. Once you've got your, you know, your your one five fifteen and um, or your hotkeys and and whatnot, so it's uh, it's about just making it simple. You know, it's just cut out all the noise, cut out all of the the problems that are created by too many moving pieces. Get really comfortable with my setup, my station, my ticker, and then just apply all of the different things that you've got given me, and you know, and uh, yeah, off to the races. I love it, Andrew. Thank you. Everything. Again, guys, Andrew is saying it. He is on the money on everything that's coming out of his mouth. By the way, all the stuff that I told you is in the link in my bio, Andrew. The portable monitor, the laptop that you need, all of it's there. It's awesome. I have it too. When I was in um, Puerto Rico, I have that portable monitor. The link is in my bio. And just get that. I mean, I keep saying link in my Well, it is in my bio. It's in there. It's right down below. So I love it, Andrew. I appreciate you. By the way, remember, get on that list. That the seminar students created that has all the fire tickers. So just find yeah, I, was, I was speaking to Antonio before. We're trying to get all of the new new tickers on that list. They're not on there yet. But yeah, gotcha. so I'm 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 going to speak to our group from October and get all the tickers in one compiled in one uh, spreadsheet, and then go from there. Give it to 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 the admins. Correct. I love it. I love it. By the way, guys. Andrew, uh, again, Andrew, don't talk about what this thing, but Andrew is working on something big. Um, he's going to include me in it so he, to make me something big. But, so I appreciate the way the universe, the way God works. It's a beautiful thing. So Andrew's going to do some, Andrew's working on some big things. And again, I'm not going to say it here because I know I have some people probably watching that, you know, don't want me to grow. So I'm not going to mention it until it's said and done. But big things are in the works, by the way. So boom. Yep, absolutely. Get excited. 100%. So 100%. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate you. You too. Thank you. All right. So let's make it happen, guys. Oh, uh, Higuero. Yeah, 100%. I spoke to Mark about, I know you guys did the thing where I said 50 likes and you did it. I spoke to Mark. He said, basically, 
Andrew, uh, can you shut your video off, please? Shut my video off. Yeah, yeah, yes. because you're on the live right now. <laughs> so oh, you, can okay, be yeah, the, you, can, you can still stay, but you can be behind <laughs> the scenes. Thank you, Andrew. Because <laughs> people are like, why is he not talking? <laughs> so Mark Palumba will be on. He was busy. Uh, he couldn't do it today, but I'll let you know when he is coming, but it's going to happen. I, I can't tell you when because it depends on his schedule. It's not just my schedule. So Mark will be on the show. So boom. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. All right, let's make, let's continue. So this ticker I was looking at, P-R-O-G. Crazy moves. This doji right here with that wick, God, I just got, I got to see what the hell this looks like. Oh, it went wild in pre-market and then just consolidated the rest of the day. Let's see. This one is fine. It just went crazy today. Nothing major here. Let's look at the next one. BKKT. Let's see it. Oh, oh, God. Damn. Oh, God damn. What a crazy ticker. This thing went from. Fifteen bucks all the way to sixty. Imagine being a bag holder at this level and then trying to cash out. But the second it opened, crash. It gapped up. Well, remember, guys, what do I teach you? Aubrey, you're driving. Get off. Oh, my God. Why do you guys do this to me? You're killing me. Aubrey, shut your video off. Do not, do not get on the live right now. Get on it later. Shut your video off, Aubrey. You guys are killing me. So dangerous. So dangerous. Okay. Guys, what? let's look at this behind me. We are looking at ticker BKKT. What happens when a stock gets pumped up in pre-market or after hours? What happens when it opens up? Usually, usually what happens? <laughs> Poison, you're 100% right. Aubrey about to get kicked out as soon as Professor notices the car. <laughs> you guys know me so well. I care about your safety, everybody. I care about your safety. So, boom. Uh, Ruben's asking if Andrew was Aussie. Yes, he's from Australia. He hasn't been in a couple of years, but he's going back. He's lived in Colombia for a while. He's in Panama right now. It's a very nice house. I don't think it's called a house. I think it's called a, a summer home or a mansion. I don't know. I saw the outside of it. It's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um... Tracy, what sector? Aubrey, about to, okay. Olga, can you write the ticker, please? Anyone? Olga, what ticker? They take profit as soon as the market opens. Very good. We ready to risk our lives. Fred, no. 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 We're not doing that. And I think Aubrey is in New York as well, and it's raining out here in New York. I think it is. I can hear the rain. So, boom. There you go. So, pumps up. I want you to keep this in mind. And look what happened. What was this? Taking profit. Imagine being someone that's in BKKT, swing trade, whatever, and you wake up and you're like, I'm up considerable amounts of money. Considerable amounts of money. You cash out. I would have done the same thing. The stock went from 15 to 60. I would have had a heart attack. I would have seen it and not believe it. I would have been like, uh, like what the freak? So boom, boom. They take profits. Yep, you got it, Tracy. Very good. Just realized I was on the wrong account. What you mean, Saint? I only have one account. Danny P. Borshiba. <laughs> Did he? Did he buy Shiba? I don't believe that. I don't believe that if he bought Shiba. I don't believe it. I got it. Thank you. The ticker you're showing. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So that's what's happening with this bad boy. So that's that. There you go. Crazy move over here. Crazy. My God. What, what's this sector? Commercial services? I don't know what the hell that is, but my God. Okay, next one. Tiger. T-I-G-R. Woo! 
Another example of what I'm trying to tell you guys about pumping dumps over here. Look at this. This thing. This thing went from eight bucks to 11, not too bad. And again, same scenario. Market opens, boom, there you go. Is this normal for the stock to do? Look at another daily. If you really want to see if it's normal for these tickers to do this type of behavior, pull up the daily chart and you can see. That's crazy gaps. Not that too crazy. Boom. Yeah, that's a wrap. There's a reason why. There's a reason why. You guys should never bag hold these things. Never bag hold unless you want to hold a small position, very small, so you don't get FOMO. Keep that in mind. Let's look at the next one. Pull it up on the daily chart. Oh my God. Here's another one. This thing went from $2 to $9. Oh, this looks like it's a new stock. I don't know what this is. Looks like a new stock. Wow. Yo, I wish somebody would have called this today on the live trades. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is a nice, nice stock right here. What I tell you, this is awesome. The ticker is you guys can't see the ticker. Oh, the light. All right, ticker is I I N N I I N N. That's the ticker. Look at this gorgeous ticker. Boom. Boom. Wow, it had 172 million volume, shares in volume, and on an average of 17 million. No wonder it went bananas. Wow. It went up 300% today. This is a crazy stock. It's a crazy stock. By the way, if you're bag holding this, uh, I wouldn't be in a stock like this, but if you're bag holding this, get out of the trade because this has the potential to go down to 220. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll take that back. Hold up. If it stays above 586, you're fine. By the way, can anyone look at this tomorrow for your trading? Put this down for tomorrow if you're trading. Um, I, I, and, and. If it holds, on 586 and does the staircase uh xyz staircase pattern you're looking at a nice trade from five to nine bucks if it holds if it holds brody my man turn on your video baby boy v you're here too you can turn on your video too boys i guess they're not on Oh, there it is. What's up, V? How's it going, Professor? All is well, guys. Uh, this is V, one of my students. V, uh, introduce yourself, baby boy. Hey, so um, I'm one of the seminar graduates. Um, I've been trading for about two months, roughly. And, you know, it, it went really well. It exceeded my expectations, the seminar. What were um, your expectations? And be honest. What were your expectations, and how did it exceed your expectations? <clears throat> I mean, I, since I've been watching you, and the way you teach, I knew I was going to learn a lot. But just the way that you take your time, you know, the way that you, you, don't, you don't time the, the, the seminar. You know, the first day we were, we, we were there almost past two hours. Um, 142. You know, 142 a.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard, yeah. 
Yeah, almost two hours. Um, you know, every it was almost every day that we're past, you know, the time that we were supposed to um be done. You know, so that's that's very um that's excellent, you know, that you're not rushing us, you know, you're you're there until the last question is asked, you know, you're very helpful, you know, it's like it's 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 it went really well, you know. We learned a lot. I learned a lot, you know. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. What was your favorite day and what did you learn? Your favorite out of the four, and what was it about it? So it's it's rough, right? Um, before before I took the seminar, I used to be like, damn, I don't want to do the mindset part, right? But after the seminar, I'm like, wow, that mindset part, it's 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 very strong. So to be honest, the, my favorite two parts was the the the, the first day, the mindset, mm. and the last day, which was today, because all the puzzles come together, and that's when you're like, oh, that's what he meant. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's what that's for. So that's when you're like, oh, okay, now I get it, you know. Uh, interesting that you said the mind no one usually ever says the mindset part that's interesting you said that yeah it's it's because like you have to realize that um trading involves a lot of mindset you know it's you know people like before i started following you i just thought that it was like you know charts numbers that's it you know i go in i go out whatever the, the case may be um but then it's like oh no wait it's more than that you know you know we're conditioned to think a certain way and that affects your trades you know, and um, we learned that through you. So, you know, that ha- that is definitely going to prepare you. If your mindset is right for the, for the trades, then, you know, you're not going to have FOMO. You're not going to have um, fear. You're going to trust yourself. You're not going to be greedy. Of course, you know, every, every now and then you got to keep those things in check. But but the um, the mindset part definitely, definitely was amazing. I love it. What was it? I, by the way, I also appreciate you because you asked phenomenal questions all four days. Today I saw it. You were like so engaged in it. You were like, wow. You were like, oh my. And I love the Tuesdays because like you said, it it brings it all together. It's the end. It, it's everything. I, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It finishes off today. And what a mover OCGN. It was so much fun. What was it about trading on OCGN today? What was it that was fun about it? It was it was excellent. Like we saw pretty much all types of moves. You know, it was uptrending. It was downtrending. It was a gapper. Um, it, it was halted. It was it was like everything in one. it was like everything in one. We were like very lucky. Everything in one. Before I even set up the trend, I don't again it's recorded, so you can if you don't remember, you can watch it. But remember before I even when I typed in OC and I said, Oh no, not this talk. Do you remember me saying that? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? Because I know I'm not always gonna be around. So you know what? I should do something like this. So you, because I, I had a feeling that it would do everything that I knew it was going to do. And it didn't do everything I knew it was going to do. And how good did it feel? Because I remember we talked about this when it collapsed. You saw oh, that collapse was brutal. Imagine trading that all morning and then and being in that collapse. How would you have felt if, if you were in that? Yeah, to be honest, um, you know, prior to the seminar, I would have I stayed longer. And I would have gotten caught in that long... Um, that collapse. This is the question. Why would you have stayed longer? Guys, I'm going to pull up OCGN for a second. Um, but point, uh, let me just say one thing, V, and then I'll go to OCGN. So everyone is on the same page. Because I already talked about it, but I'll talk about what I'm trying to say. Um, Definitely. I-I-N-N, if you're trading this for whoever gave me this ticker, if it, it's, if it holds above $5.86 tomorrow, take the trade and ride it all the way up to $9.50, well, below $9.59, so $9.58, $9.57. Boom. There's Excuse me. There's my analysis on this. But if it breaks 586, I'm talking to the bag holders. Get out this trade because it's going to two dollars and twenty seven cents. Boom. There's my two cents on that. All right. Let me pull up OCG answer. You guys can see what the hell I'm talking about with B. All right. Go ahead, B. I pulled it up. Why would you have stayed longer, my brother? Tell me why. Yeah. So, you know, before you know the seminar. Like, you're always hoping, you know, like, oh, no, no, you know what? It's going to go up. You know, what, what goes down is going to come back up. So you're like, no, it's, it's going to come back up. And it goes down. And you're like, no, it's going to come back up. And you just won't let go, you know? And then when you realize, it's, you're like, oh, damn, I just lost X amount of money, you know? And like I said, that's why I, I, I really love the mindset part, because it helps you understand, you know? It helps you, it helps you, you know, just um, see those things that you're not used to seeing, you know? Correct. I love it. Thank you, V. Anything else? Um, I think that you know, I think that was all. Um, you know, I just want to say for everyone that's watching, you know, if if 
you're thinking to join the seminar, you're not, you're not sure, just, you know, don't, don't think about it too much. Go for it. You know, like I, <laughs> I, I understand, you know, like people are scammers and, and this and that this guy right here, he's the real deal. You know, he really knows his stuff. You know, he really has Thank the you. patience you know, the right techniques to teach you and it's worth every single penny. And I'm not saying that, you know, like he's not paying me none of that. I'm saying it because I actually learned a lot, you know, and it's, it's been very helpful, you know, so I'm really excited for the future, you know, just to continue to earn my XP points and, you know, get better. I love it, V. Whatever you need, you already know. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. Wherever you need, I mean, whatever you all need, I'll be here. So boom. Definitely. Thank you, Professor. Thanks for everything. You're welcome, V. And remember, don't deviate. No, definitely, definitely, definitely not. Good. Definitely not. Thank Thanks, you, Professor. V. You're welcome. All right. All right, let's keep it going, guys. Let's go. The next ticker, I just looked at N. We'll look at WVX right now. We'll, again, drop your tickers if you have any. I'll look at more. So WVX. That's going on with WVX. Let's see. Oh, man. Man. This thing went from... 14 bucks, 27 bucks. Yo, y'all be finding some crazy tickers. Damn. Let's see. Let's. Let's see. Whoa. I hope nobody was in this. I hope no. So in pre-market, again, are you guys seeing a trend here? In pre-market, anytime... It gets pumped, it comes right back down. People take profits. Look at this insanity. Look at this insanity right here. Same thing. Imagine waking up. You were in this stock at like 10, 9 bucks. You wake up and it's like $37. Like, what? That's never happened to me, but what a feeling. I bet that's a that's like a high. I think nothing would top a high like that, by the way. So boom, <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like this is crazy. All right, next one, CLF. You guys are really giving me the bumping numbers, bro. You guys are really giving me them today. Oh, whoa, look at this guy. Look at this, wow. Guys, the ticker is CLF, CLF. So in one, two, three days, it's a mover. Let me see, where did it move from? It moved from 21 bucks to 26 bucks. It ain't much, but the way it moved is what caught my attention. Look at this. It just wouldn't stop going up. It just wouldn't stop going up. And now it's stopped. So if you're trading this, keep your eye on this. My suggestion is. So the ticker again is CLF. If it holds above 25.45, go ahead, ride the wave up to 26.51 and then get in after that level. Boom. Support resistance, support resistance. All right? Boom. There's my thoughts on that one. There's my thoughts on that one. All right, let's keep it going. Mark. Again, by the way, guys, anyone want to jump on the live, the link is pinned. So anyone can jump on. It's not just open to my seminar students. It's open to anyone, even people that are watching that don't even know who I am. All right, let's go. Why the hell? Oh, okay. So this ticker, yo, John, I, I, I really need John to jump on. John, if you're watching, can you jump on, please? Can someone uh, message John in the, in the chat uh, and just say, John, can you jump on? I really want John to jump onto this. His story is, oh, I love this story, man. I love these stories. Let me message him. Let me message him. Where do I go? Come on, come on. I hate this phone. Oh, I like my Android. I don't even know John's, what's John's IG? I mean, John's um, Telegram tag. John, there it is. John. Jump on for two minutes, please. All right, boom. I sent him a message. So this is the ticker that, again, when John comes on, he was holding this since May 
of 2021. And then it just popped up. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Right here. So this, <laughs> he was holding it since like, dude, I'm, I'm waiting for him to come on, but I'll try not to get too many details of the story. But John was holding this sticker. I'm assuming like a lot of you guys, you know, that bag hold was holding it since $2. It went all the way and it was like 95 cents. The lowest level of support is like 75 cents. And then it popped. It popped and it exploded. Right here. This right here in after hours, it went to $3.32. And then pre-market the next morning, it exploded all the way to $9.90. And John told me he woke up, he saw it, he had it on Robinhood. So you, if you know anything about Robinhood, you can't do pre-market 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could try to get out of a trade at 4 a.m., but John didn't have, he didn't have um, freaking Weevil or Think or Swim. So he was stuck in the trade. So he did get out with profits, but Mark is a pump and dump stock. Just look at this. Collapsed ever since. It hasn't stopped. As you can see the lines, it's going right back to penny status. It's already at penny status, but it's going into back to 75, 95 cents. So always take profits, ladies and gentlemen. Always, I love, I love that you got out of this. Let me show you in the daily chart why Mark is such a bad ticket. Check. Go to the past. Hey, Professor. John, baby boy. I heard Mark and I started running, so. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> so I told a little bit of the story, but tell, because people need to learn from traders. Again, I'm telling you right now, they, I, they learned from me, yes, but they learned a lot from, my, from traders, from the influencers I bring on, but a lot more from traders because they think of me as the professor, oh, he's the professor. But when, when I have traders come on, like, oh my God, he's just like me, same story. Watch how many people will relate to your story. So tell them about the story with Mark. So John, I love this story. Go. Yep. So again, I, as if anyone's watching or was watching it last Friday, and knowing that I was in the seminar this weekend, I was like, oh man, it was pumping after hours. And I, I had been holding it for actually, I take that back. It was actually last year because I looked and oh. it was actually 2020. Um, and I, I was just holding it. I don't know why I was holding it. I think I was just holding it because, oh, I didn't want to pay the, the long-term gains on it. And I was, I was bag holding at that point. Um, and then, yeah, so we spoke about it a little bit uh, over the weekend during the seminar. And it was like, okay, well, it's just going to drop right at uh, market open. Um, then it pumped right at 4 a.m. market open. And I had a Robinhood account, so I couldn't get out till 9 a.m. And um, it pumped up to like 970s, I think, is the high. 990. 990. 990. Okay, 990. So my heart's racing. I'm like, oh, I need to get out. I need 9 a.m. to roll around. Uh, that way I can get out. And I ended up at 9 a.m. hit, and I was like, all right. It, it pumped a little bit more. And then I, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, it, it dropped down to 730. And then I'm like, okay, if it goes – past like 751 is what I set my limit at the sell order and it didn't ever hit that. It kept dropping. I was like, I need to just get out. So I got out <laughs> 681 um, up from like 269. I think it was my entry. So, so profited, but question. I let a little bit ride, but then I ended up losing more money. So <laughs> I gambled a little bit on it. So I want the mindset. And I told you there was nothing wrong with you leaving a little bit to buy. <laughs> Uh, why did you leave a little bit riding on? I like that. Just just that FOMO, like right? If it went to 10 or $15, I was like, I just need a little bit in there to say, yes, I did it. But nope, it didn't. It did exactly what you said. I mark it open. It just fell off. It halted actually three minutes in, 9.33, it halted. And then it just tanked. And I was like, I'm out. I don't want to, I don't want to mess around anymore. So that's my market this story. So, by the way, guys, there is there's nothing wrong with leaving some. Again, you see me laughing because I love this story. It's because prior to this event, I told John, and again, it's recorded. 
I think I let the record because I know John was on with me a little late after the seminar ended. And I was like, John, exactly word for word. I love when I, when I say word for word, it happens word for word. Didn't it happen word for word, John? Yeah, it did. So I like that he left a little bit on because what if it did go up? And that's a human being thing with greed, with FOMO. There's nothing wrong with that. It would have made him feel better. You're still in the profits at the end, correct? Correct. So there was nothing wrong with leaving a bid on. So you can't do that. But on usually when these events take place, again, I'm assuming, John, what do you think? People that don't know any better, don't, do you think they're probably still in this? Oh, yeah. It's going to go up. It's going to go back up. It's not going to go back up. Nope. Not for a while. Not for a while. So... <laughs> If you want to get back in the stock, get back in it when it hits below a dollar, put it in like $100 worth and forget about it. Set an alert on TradingView that when it gets pumped up in a year or two, you can make some profits if you don't even want to think about it. So boom. Yeah. So what, what else, John? John, give me, as you're here, I'll let you, just stay on for one more minute. Give me the highlight. What day was the best on the seminar and tell me why, and then I'll let you go. I would say day three. So again, the mindset, it's like, it all kind of clicks. It's like, I get what you're saying. And then everything as um, Andrew and V had already said too, it's like just putting all those pieces together. And today was like, is really, it was awesome. Like I had to leave for work, but it was like, man, I wish I could just stay here again. You teach us not to trade after, after lunchtime, just uh, in the certain um, amount of time or in the morning, 1045, I think is when we need to start to avoid the volatility, but 1015, 1015. Thank you for correcting me. After, again, we have to wait till that volatility right when the market opens um, to slow down a bit. So I would say day three, definitely with um, putting all the pieces together. Um, my biggest thing was, you know, I look at so many different things and it's like, it's overwhelming. And the other thing too, that we always reiterated and professor did and all the the traders is patience, right? Even today, like when we did the live trading, it was like patience. We were just waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm like, I would be before the, before taking the seminar, I'd be like in and out, like trying to look at different tickers, like, okay, like what can I make a quick buck? It's not about making a quick buck. It's, it's about learning the indicators and things like that. And the support and resistance lines. I mean, that's huge. Trend lines are support resistance. So I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing I learned. So I appreciate everything. Of course. Thank you, John. Yeah, like when we traded OCGN, a lot of people would have been in this disaster. And that's why you wait. You wait. What time was it right here? 9.45. Things started settling down. And look how gentle it started going. Look at this. I love it. I love it, John. All right, John. I appreciate you so much. Anything, whatever you need, you let me know, of course, baby boy. Okay. Thanks, Professor. You're welcome. I'll see you. All right, All right guys. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I love it. I love people just hopping on. It's a beautiful thing. Everyone hops on, shares a story, and then boom. It's such a cool thing. Technology. All right. Where was I? I was on Mark. I explained Mark already, right? Yeah. I just explained Mark. This bad boy ain't going back up for a little while. All right. Let's look at more stickers. Let's look at more tickers. Guys, just drop the ticket. Let me scroll up so I can answer these questions. Let's go. Uh, okay. VRPX. VRPX. Cool. VRPX. All right. What else? Brody, my brother. Hey, hey. Can you hear me? What's, what's up, playboy? <laughs> Baby dog. I know. <laughs> what's going on? Guys, you all know Brody already. The, he's the most visited guest uh, out of anybody ever, and I love it. He's like a younger version of me. First of all, what's up with the glasses? I like them. Very, very like chic 90s look going on. I like it. What, what are they like? Blue light glasses? Yeah, these are just blue light glasses. But why are they yellow? Uh, because... I have red ones too. Those block block out like a much bigger spectrum of blue light. These I can wear like during the day at work. Got you. Okay. They're easier What's on up? my eyes. Cause so I look no, at no, no. all day. My eyes are hurting. Got you. Wait, you said you were at a funeral. Your eyes were hurting. No, I look at the computer all day. Oh, computer. Oh, I thought you were at a funeral 
I'm like, oh no. Oh, okay. No, man. What's no. up, baby? How was today? I just, were, you, were you in OCG yet? No, you weren't, right? Hell no. For the kid. Because I was, I was trading Zynga nice and smooth while you guys were in the <laughs> man. I love it. You're so me. You're so me. I like this. But OCG, you got to admit, it was a hell of a lot of fun. You have to admit. Can we admit that? Dude, crazy. Like, our, our when we did the last seminar, when they did uh, Zev, that was pretty good. But this one was insane. <laughs> Tell me why. Tell me why. Just because, I mean, when something has volume like that, when when a ticker averages $25 million and, no, and not beat, damn, I just noticed it. It 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 beat its average volume in like 20 minutes of market. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insane. And it was moving so quickly, but it was so cool because it still respects the rules, man. It still respects support and resistance. 100 percent respects the trend but, line. But listen, people were making money. Noel was doing good. Everybody was like. It was a lot of fun because it got pumped. I'm like, get out, get out, get out. We got out. I and know. you could have just wrote, you could have just wrote it. But listen, this was <laughs> devastation. Thank God. I said, guys, look at the RSI. It's a, it's a resistance. Nobody get in the stock. And literally, I speak it and then bada boom. Yeah. This. But I know, I know. You're just like me. I, you know, you're my student. I'm your mentor. So I already know. But this was fun. I gotta admit, when you're trading with people, this was a lot of fun to trade. <laughs> it was it was fun. I was I was watching it and I had time because my tickers were moving so slow. <laughs> it was the exact opposite. That's the listen, that's the beauty. That's oh, I hit man. up Rob. I'm like, Rob, one of the students, why aren't you in class? He goes, I'm trading MRO right now. I said MRO. I looked at MRO, I'm like, MRO is not moving right now. What do you <laughs> Yeah? I mean, that's that's been a that's been a big thing for I mean. A couple weeks ago, I may have traded OCGN just because I wanted to get in there and get that, you know, 30 cent scalp. But not emotionally, nah, not right now. That's not where I'm at. I'm, I've been comfortable with the tickers I've been looking at. Um, I've been watching them every day. Maybe add a new support resistance line. Um, don't have to keep switching screens. I know how they move. I wait for the setups and I take them. I don't have to, it's trading in that bubble. I don't have to worry about any other tickers. I don't have to worry about, I wasn't even tempted for, for OCGN. It was right in front of my face. <laughs> well, I love that. Why were you not tempted? By the way, guys, I'm laughing because I'm in a good mood. Nothing's wrong with me. I'm fine. <laughs> um, I, I love how today went. I always love when the seminars start and when they end and I see my students. Again, Brody's an old seminar student, but I'm just saying in general today was just a phenomenal day. It was just great. I'm in a phenomenal mood. So that's why I keep laughing, by the way. Because I'm just, it's just such, such a good day today. But um, I agree with you 100%, Brody. That's my same style, trading in a bubble. You know, not trading with um, scanners, group chats. It's just me, my tickers, and the screen. I shouldn't say tickers because I've been on MRO forever. But just looking at that and that's it. And yeah. I just live in my own little reality without having anyone else. So I understand completely what you're saying. It's a but great life. <laughs> it's a great life. Because there, there are just so many, so many stocks and so many opportunities. There's always a stock that's going to move more. There's always someone else making more money than you. It's it, you're you're going to get overwhelmed if you if you give your attention to that, right? At least I am. I am. That's that that's for me. And you know maybe I can get to a point where, like you were saying on the live, like the goal is to obviously obviously it'd be great to be able to trade a, a ticker like this with the same confidence I have with the slow moving ones, but. Not right now, but you said it perfectly. I don't worry about any other tickers. I see these, if they're, if they're not going, great, move on, right? If the setup's there on one of them, I take that, that's the one I look at. And that's it, it's like trading with three stocks in the stock market, it's like only three stocks exist. It Ooh, takes away so much. I like so much that stress. example, Brody, can I steal it? Yeah, of course. I love that a trade as if there's only three stocks in the entire stock market. Yo, that's a fire example. I like that. Whoa, cool. Don, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely use that from now on because like like for example, you notice how today when we were trading with live trading with all the students, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna pick one. First, I had so many because I asked all of them to drop me a ticker. We had them, 
and then Soph comes on. But uh, Sophie, I think, told me, but it was Noel from what I when I what I was told. OCG, and I was like, oh, I don't want to. You heard me say that, right? I was like, oh, I don't want to trade this. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I, I did it anyway because I knew it would be a learning experience for those of you, for those people that end up deviating that move away from my style. That would have been a good learning experience, especially with the whole thing and the crash and that none of us was in it, thank God. Yeah. So I, I feel you. That's the part about being a spider. We're not jumping from seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tickers. Because I know people, I'm not going to say their names, but I know people that are in every influencer's group chat I brought on. They're like, Professor, I need to know what everybody, I'm like, but I'm against this. Don't do that. Stick to one of the guys. Stick to any of the people I bring on. Just stick to one. Like, no, but I need to know what tickers. And I'm like, all right, bro, that's not going to work, but all right. <laughs> different strokes for different folks. No, no, I, I get it because, you know, the person said, well, everybody has something to share and teach. I'm like, yeah, but, that, that's, but that's not how it works. I, yeah. I can't imagine being in one. Imagine being in five, six, seven. What? No. And his thing was, he said to me, he goes, Professor, it's because I've tried to find the commonality stocks amongst them. Mm. I said, baby boy, but just find three and trade them. But they each their own. They each their yeah. own. Everybody to their own. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, I'd say most, most people who trade don't do it the way you do. I know. I know. I know. So that's why I understand. I respect it. I respect yeah. it completely. Boom. Yeah. All right. What else, baby boy? Talk to me. Anything else? Um, well, I've just been... For some, I mean, for some, after, after I had COVID and took a break from trading and I, we talked on that other live a couple of weeks ago and I said that something clicked in my head where I was like, I take the setup and if it breaks support, I get out. For some reason that just clicked and it internalized and I've been able to do that. And like the last couple of weeks, I've been starting to notice patterns. What so, patterns? What, what patterns were you noticing? So and are we talking about Zynga or some other stock? Zynga has been in my top three. I've been trading a lot of ASTR. Okay, hold on. Let me pull that up. What is ASTR? It's a real slow mover, like a turtle, baby. Okay, I love it. I love it. I like the turtle mover, Jimmy boy. Okay, talk to me. What What is this? Well, why'd you pick this? What about it? Talk to me. Well, go on the daily. Okay. Okay. Talk to me. So I started I, I started trading it um, in this um, very recent stage two that was happening. I saw it, found support there. Um, and uh, I watched it one day and it was nice and slow. And I was like, oh, it, it looks good on the daily chart. It looked like it was going to break out. And, you know, the last several days, it's been doing pretty well. Um, it's only been on my watch list for I think two weeks, um, but I've been trading it since then. Nice slow mover, good price in a, in a different sector than my other ones. Um, and has room, has room to go on the, on the 52 week. So I liked it. I love it. That's a good thing. By the way, what you said, guys, if you heard it's low on the 52 week. Um, so if anyone remembers, I traded Jet. I've been trading JetBlue in the past when it was at its low of seven dollars, and I voted all the way up to fifteen. MRO. I've been trading MRO since it was six dollars, and I wrote it. All, I'm still writing it actually. So boom, I'm still writing it up as I trade it. So keep that in mind when you do discover the tickers. My style of trading, where you discover three tickers that you want to trade, you want to be able to find them when they're at the low fifty-two week. So you can ride them as high as humanly possible. It becomes predictive. You know where this uh, support resistance is in the future. So, boom. Okay, I like it. What does this thing make? Brody? I don't know, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I was just asking. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, in terms of patterns I've been noticing, for me, I've kind of noticed that there are two main setups that I've been trading. You mean? One is when the stock is going up and it breaks resistance, retests, establishes support and continues like this. And the other is more of a, a reversal when it falls down, finds support kind of stages, stage ones here uh, right above the support and then goes up. 
and that's become more clear to me. And there are, there are different things to do depending on each of those setups, right? So for example, the one where it breaks resistance and retests and then continues up. The biggest mistake I've made since the beginning is jumping in on that fat green candle out of FOMO and then it, and then, and then it comes down and I don't wait for the retest because I feel I get FOMO. I don't want to get in. So my thing is now on this setup, right? If it breaks resistance, I have to wait for the retest. If I, if it doesn't retest, there, there are still opportunities to get in. Right. So, but it's more risky. And I, and I, and that's something I realized like, Oh, this, this setup is a little more risky than I'm, than I'm used to. I'm going to go, I'm going to go smaller position. Those are the patterns that I'm starting to realize. Right. So let's say it breaks, doesn't retest. I can either draw a trend line. I can get in on that trend line, but my stop loss, as soon as it breaks that trend line, I got to get out. Or I can follow the XYZ stairs and get in on a staircase. But as, as soon as that breaks the staircase, I got to get out. And that's more risky than getting in on that strong level of support. Is that correct? Or, or do you have anything to add to, to that? No, nope. everything you're saying, baby boy, 100%, check it. You wait for a clear pattern, clear yeah. pattern to form. Yeah. And that makes me feel better that, look, if it doesn't retest, there's still a chance to get in. It's not like I missed the entire move. And that's put me more at peace with that kind of setup. The other thing on the reversal, I've noticed that it falls, starts. Actually, I, I feel more comfortable with, with when it falls and consolidates on support, builds momentum to the upside. I feel more safe there um, doing those sort of plays. But I noticed certain things with like with with the with the indicators, right? Let's say that's happening. It it falls. Let's say it's below the EMAs. MACD sellers are in control. It's different if. It's way different if the MACD is under the zero point, like you always say. If the MACD is under the zero point, the candles are under the EMAs. It could look like it's reversing, but there is going to be less follow through on that on that reversal. It could start to look like a reverse and then just come right down again. That's a big thing that I've realized because I was like, oh, my God, it's reversing. Get in full position. And then. It's a it's either a really really choppy ride or the move just ends and it, and it and it looks like it's about to reverse and then it's like psych goes down sellers come in right there's more there's and I'm starting to realize that like oh hey is this the setup I really want to take when the when the when the indicator <laughs> when the indicators look like this I think it's going to be a real choppy ride or there's not going to be a lot of follow through and I'm starting to I'm just starting to recognize those things right. XP points, baby boy. And if that's all XP it is. Points. Yep. That's the biggest thing is that these last two weeks is, is those XP points are really starting to come in. Like it wasn't my intention to say, all right, I'm going to notice these patterns and create this and this. It's just like, it's coming to me like, Oh, I don't know. That's, that's not the, that's not the a strong setup possible, but I, I shouldn't go full position here. You know? Correct. Are you looking at this book, Brody? Um, this one right here. It's, by the way, free to download in the seminar portal. I don't know if you did that, but this book right here. And for those watching, I think a book is 10, 12 bucks. But um, if you're in the seminar portal, if you're watching, it's free for you guys. You can just download it. This one. Did you, are you, are you looking at this book, Brody? I have not. I have not so yet. So again, you don't have to buy it. It's for, if you log into your seminar portal or the book club portal, they're both, no matter, it's in both locations. You can go and download this for free. All the six you can download for free. But for those of you that are not in the seminar portal, I mean, haven't signed up, you have to pay, of course, but they're not expensive. But point B, this is the next level to start looking at this. This, wait, why the hell haven't you looked at this? Well, the, I, my first book, I read a little bit of, 
the first book I read, I read Andrew Aziz's book, and then I was like, there are too many rules here. Don't like it. Um, and then I started reading the charting book a little bit. I jumped. That's when I joined the, the seminar, and they were just finishing that book. The book I've read the most is Trading in the Zone, um, and I love it. And I'm almost done with that one. Good. Um, and then the other the other book I'm reading is actually the one, The Soul of Money. Remember when Lisa came on and recommended the book? Yeah. That's the other one I'm reading. Um, okay. So I just haven't gotten to it yet. All right. All right. When you get the chance, it's not really a, it's not really a book. It's like just um, like a pamphlet. Pictures. With what? Pictures. Yes. It's like a pamphlet with pictures that shows you chart patterns and boom, boom, boom. That's really what it is. And again, read or download. So on the, in the portal. I do love pictures. <laughs> oh, by the way, Andrew, if you're still watching, Andrew, um, this is the travel one I told you about. Uh, uh, this one. That's the one I have as well. Yeah, I have this. Money. So, Andrew, this is it right here, baby boy. This one. Portable. This is awesome. So, there you go. Yeah, I, I, I like that one as well because I, I travel back and forth um, when I don't have this big, beautiful monitor to, to use. The wide widescreen one, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. Game changer. I know. That's why everything I try to tell you guys is a game changer. So, you know, boom. I know. It is. You know, I, I, do you follow Ty Lopez, Brody? Uh, no, but I know who he is. I follow him and watch one of his recent lives. It's over two hours long. It's unbelievable. It's, it's unbelievable. Good or bad? But, no, no, good, 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 good stuff. I had no idea Ty Lopez was so amazing because I only, I just heard bad things about him. But as I was yeah. I watching his live, I didn't know he does live. He just, he does stuff just like me, but not stock related, crypto related, of course. Yeah. But he does like mindset stuff. And I was watching and I'm like, yo, I couldn't stop. I couldn't put the phone down and it's two hours long. And I'm like, yo, this guy is awesome. I love Ty Lopez. So point being, he drops books you should read about mindset, about business, about life and things of that nature. And, and what, the reason why I brought that up is he's like, everyone needs a mentor. He goes, you need someone that's already ahead of you to guide you. The man, Brody, has over... I think he said over 30 mentors he has on payroll, nine in multiple sectors of his life, separate sectors of his life, mindset. On um, payroll? Yeah, he, he pays them. Ain't that a life, huh? <laughs> He's beyond rich. Professor, He's beyond rich. Professor, I can pay you 0.10% of what you make on MRO on a day per month. Wait, I don't get it. Baby boy, I go live four times a week for free. What are you talking about? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oh, I'm about to say, what are you talking about? There's a reason, you know, no one could ever say to me, oh, you, you, okay, my haters do, but real people, not the haters, because I don't consider the haters real because they live in fantasy world. Real people can never say I'm money hungry or I'm greedy. I give away everything of mine. I give it all away. So even those that say, oh, I can't afford the seminar. No worries. <laughs> the course is free. <laughs> I go live four times a week. Tell me what yeah, you want to learn. Yeah, come I'll on the live. You. Get a free one-on-one. On one. Jump on. You know, then there's those people that, you know, don't want to be personal, don't want to share their personal. Then that's a different story. But if you don't mind people watching and being recorded, jump on, share the story. I'm your mindset coach. I'm your professor. I'm teaching you everything you need to know. I'm already ahead of the curve. Might as well learn from someone who's ahead of the curve. The point being, Ty Lopez has so many. Go watch it. It's the one where he's, he's sitting down um i don't know which one it is it's the recent ones and there's a girl next to him beautiful, beautiful. that one watch that one he's sitting with her for like two hours and the conversations god damn so good so Thank mentors you. It, it, you, everyone needs one i'm and you know my, i have one mark palumbo for god's sake he's way ahead of me so i went to him and i learned you know that's why i like that all the people that come to me to learn my seminar students everyone watching by the way you want to get ahead of the curve one thing is that you need to understand is I am here to lessen your suffering. That's what I'm really here for at the end of the day. As Buddha says, life is suffering. Find a way to get out of that suffering. And that's what I do. I come on, um, go on live. 
I, I teach you guys the course, the seminar. It's all to lessen your suffering. How so? What suffering am I talking about, Brody? What do you think? I'm, what suffering am I talking about? When I say I'm trying, I'm here to lessen your suffering. You're talking about you're talking about taking huge losses, taking that loss on the penny stock, all that greed, all that FOMO, all that damn, this isn't working, all that man, I quit the stock market, man, that I can't do it, all that. Correct. That's what I come on for. That's the only reason. Again, people ask me, why do you give so much away? Because I I believe this, this is me personally. I was put on this earth by God, of course, to lessen humanity's suffering, to make easy, make your life as easy as possible for those that are suffering in the world that I teach in. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do it for. I, that's it. I'm here to ease your suffering. What was Jesus put on this earth for? Muhammad, Buddha, peace be upon them all, respects it all to them. They were put to lessen suffering of humanity. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, appreciate Keep that it. in mind. Hey, Professor, can we look at a, a swing trade I'm in? You're in a swing. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, it's okay. Look, I, I I, wanted to try it. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. I just make that face because I, I I, just want everyone to be in cryptocurrency. That's just, that's just, okay. I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to try it. It's, uh, it's a riot. Oh, my God. When did you get in? Um... Wait, which one is Riot? Hold on. I always confuse Riot and Mara. So let me just look at this for a second. Riot's the one that's spelled R-I-O-T. No. <laughs> oh, damn. My computer's about to close. Let me put the charger on. Hold on, Brody. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. No, no, no. I know how it spells, but I always confuse Riot and Mara. Which one's the cheaper one, Riot or Mara? Riot's cheaper. Okay, boom. All right, cool. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, talk to me. What was your entry, baby boy? 2639. Nice. Nice. You're in the profits. Okay, hold I'm on. I'm in the profits. But it has it is on a downtrend right now. So hold up. Wait a minute. Okay, it is on a downtrend. It's gonna go all the way to 27, uh 2738, and then do a bounce off. If it goes to 2738, it'll do a bounce off of that. So boom. Boom. Oh, uh, yeah. Thing. I have 27, 26. Pretty close. Yeah, yeah. You're good. What is your how many shares? Uh, I have 100 shares. Give me dollars. I think it's like 2,500 bucks. Okay. Okay. What is your exit position, baby boy? Um, I was looking at, I think it's 30, around 37, 30, yeah, 36, 37. 37? Brody, where the hell are you getting this number from? <laughs> where are you getting this number from? And by the way, whoever, 36. Said magic, whoever said magic cookie, I saw your comment, bro. I saw your comment. I don't do magic cookies. I do regular cookies. Whoever that was, I, I, I forget who said <laughs> Roblox. That's, that's uh, Sebastian. That's Sebastian. Sebastian, you know I don't do magic cookies. I do regular cookies. Boom. Why do I have to explain that? Because people get confused. People get confused, same. So boom. And everyone knows I don't smoke a drink. Boom. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Brody, what'd you say again? 36? Yeah, 36. In 36 okay, years. Okay. But you do know, <laughs> you <laughs> do know you got one. <laughs> God, I just love life so much. You got one, two, three, four. You got four layers of resistance. Well, yeah, that was my final one. Oh, okay. That wasn't like my first one. Okay. No, no, I like what you're saying because some of the people that came to the seminar this month, I told them, I said, if you want to try out your swing, swing trading skills, buy one share of whatever and boom, and try it out. So boom. Yeah. Um, Why'd you buy right? Because of uh, the crypto craze, craze? Yeah, yeah. And I also follow, I like Chris Johnson. Um, the well squad guy when did you get on chris johnson well you were mentioning him for for weeks and weeks so i followed him and watch his watch his stuff i like i like what he because he's just not about um stocks but he teaches about uh building wealth dividend stocks real estate there's a lot of different facets um are you in his well squad group chat 
I am. I actually just came in because I wanted to learn about dividend stocks and specifically because there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, why didn't, again, I like everybody. I like everybody. But just quick thing. Why didn't you go to Mr. Peters' group chat for that? Money, money flow gang. I really didn't think about it. Oh, okay. No, again, I like all of them. Chris follows me, you know, so I, res I respect all of them. You do know Chris is a student of Peter's, right? Oh, he is? Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. I didn't know Chris it. Made, Chris made all what he made, his fortune, off of Peter's book, The Money Tree, or whatever, whatever the name of the book is. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. I respect it and I love it. You're my student, so, you know, I know you know, the, I know, you know what's right and wrong. But here's my question. Why not cryptocurrency? Baby boy, I'm in heavy there. Oh, oh okay. I know because I just want to know why would you why because why are you thinking about dividend when you can get into cryptocurrency that pays insane return? That's it. Well, I I my only thing is I don't want to put all my money into crypto. Ah, uh, okay. All right, there's nothing wrong with that either. That is the right way to go. That you know, that there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, this is like my first year um, making making good money for myself after school. And crypto is the first thing I, I invested in. But I just don't want to be overexposed, as they say. I got you, baby boy. I'm beyond overexposed. If there's a word for beyond overexposed, <laughs> you're looking at him right here in Ethereum. Like, I know. I get, I get it. Because, because I'm super confident in it. And it hasn't let me down. Not one bit. Not yeah. one bit. So, I'm... I I'm I'm most confident in in crypto as well. I mean, I think this I think there's a ton of money in, in the stock market and that you know we've never seen as much money as it is in in the market as there is right now. I don't know if dividends is 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 the best time to get in, but I, I wanna, <laughs> I'm just I'm just want to learn, you know. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. No, when people say the same thing to me when they ask ask me about dividends and staking, and I'm like. The returns, though. I'm like, have you seen my? You're my, like, just my... buy Ethereum, dude. Bro, ever since, I've been talking about Ethereum since it was three, four hundred. But forget that. Let's go recent term. I've been talking about it since it was in the one thousands recently when it crashed. My guys buy, buy. Like, shout out to Andy. I know Andy's watching. I saw him in the comment section. Andy took his unemployment checks, all of them, and put them in Ethereum. He's up so much, he took profits. I'm like, guys, somebody please start taking your profits already. God damn, I haven't. But I'm like, hey get profits yeah yeah i'm yeah. holding it for a while holding it for a while but uh yeah i'm just testing my hand at at swinging um seeing if i can grow my money there it's actually it actually has helped my scalps because swinging is like you say it's just it's the same thing but slower so it, and on a bigger it, time frame yeah it lets certain other things click because i'm looking for the same things in a, in a swing that i am in a scalp so it, it's it's it helps put things together you know um, right. so right. I'm happy with it, but my question is, let's say riot doesn't let's, if, if riot breaks this 27, 38, my plan, my plan was to take, to just take profits at, you know, a dollar ish and, and, and be happy with it. So Brody, let's have a serious conversation, but before we have a serious conversation, let me answer some of the comments because they're going to get out of control and I won't be able to keep track, but I will answer this because this is very important and you're going to. You're going to answer it. Go All right, let's go. Uh, good job, Brody. Brody's always doing a good job. They were supposed to have launch tomorrow, but cancel the Oh, that's what happened with the rocket company. Professor Swingers, LOL. I don't get it, Tracy. Olga, you're welcome. Brody, Professor, didn't get missed, you guys. Professor Brody, pros, didn't get missed. I don't know what that means, James. Riot is cheaper. Yep, that's what I said. Um, I have a long, in, I'm in long in account. Okay, cool. What do you think? What do you think Riot can go if it can Bitcoin continue on the uptrend? It's just going to flow with it. But I got you, uh, Cole Jan. I got you. Bro Brody, are you in Wealth Squad username? I'm in there. Brody, what's your Wealth Squad username? James is asking. Uh, I think it's just my name, Brody Elkins. Okay, there you go, guys. It's his name, Brody Elkins, for those in Wealth Squad. Again, I love everybody. Well, Chris is awesome. Um, Mr. Peters is awesome. They're both awesome. And I, one of the things I like about Chris, his courses are dirt cheap yeah they are dirt cheap i'm like i i thought it was a mistake when i because people you know i i as well people follow me all the group chats all of the people follow me too and i'm like 
How is it so cheap? Does it make sense to me? Mm-hmm. I respect it. My stuff is free. His is like nothing. Like nothing. So boom, boom on that one. Do you mention me in there, Brody? What do you mean? Like in the group chat, do you like mention me when they talk about stocks? Oh, I haven't even sent one message in there yet. Oh, okay. I just, I've just been learning. Um, what do they talk want, about in there? Huh? What do they talk about in there? They talk about everything. They've got, they've got a channel for, um, they've got a channel for options. They got a channel for crypto, crypto beginners, stock beginners. If you just join, start here. They take you on a path to make it clear. Very well structured. Um, they got uh, a whole chip channel for dividends and even student loans, which is cool, which I didn't expect. So um, I have yet to fully dive in and, and, and explore everything. Um, but so far, it's it's well organized. I love it. All right. Don't, don't forget to mention me in there, okay? Okay. When you see something related to something, I can help that community with. So boom. So boom. All right. Let, okay, let me finish answering questions. Uh, Brody, are you? I answered that already. Did you sell your crypto position to get back in? No, Tracy, I'm selling it at 6,000, anywhere in the 6,000s. Once it does the boom, the boom is coming. Uh, it's just going to go wild and then it's going to run up to in the sixes and then come right back down. So, boom. Shiba to a dollar, right? I'm not commenting on the Shiba stuff. No, no, thank you. I ain't, I'm not one of those. I'm not the Doge person that's go to a I'm not. Nah. That's Elon's job. I'm going to leave that to Elon. <laughs> when are you coming back on IG? God knows when. God knows. But I'm enjoying the time off. Probably December. I'm going to tell everybody to spam them in December. I'll give you guys all the contacts over there. Spam them. Drive them crazy. And they'll be like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Danny P bought Shiba. I refuse to believe Danny P bought Shiba. So, Rodrigo, stop telling me that, bro. I refuse to believe Danny P bought Shiba. 35000 of Shiba. I refuse to believe it. James. Mr. Peters, awesome too. Wellspot also teaches car rental, drop shipping, advertising, crypto, DeFi, NFT, mental wellness, personal wealth, in-house CPA, real estate, pallet flipping. I know, I, I know, I know Chris. Chris follows me. I know Chris. I know what he does. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's a good guy. I like again. I like that. I what I also like what he does is everything is dirt cheap. So that's what I really like about Chris. That it's all like literally nothing. No one can call Chris a scammer. Because it, everything is like nothing. To me, I think it's free. That's just my mindset where it's, everything is just like nothing. The cost is nothing. So boom. All right, let's do it. Brody, I'm going to ask you this damn question. When ask should, the, when should the, your crazy ass got out of this stock? When? Tell me. I should have got out right around 32 bucks. 32, 32. When? Okay, 31. No, not, th- yes, 32, but you thought it was going up higher. Wait, you were in this all the way to 32? Yes. Brody, why wasn't I made aware of this? I would have, I would have told you to get out. Um, I don't know. All right. Now, like again, anybody can jump on the live show. Point being, Brody, you didn't get out there, but you should have got out when it broke this level. If you didn't get out then, you should have got out when it broke this level. So oh, you're, wait, you're, this, on the, you're, on, you're on the two-hour chart. Yes, my brother. Gotcha. Okay. You should have got out when the strong levels of support were broken. Got you. So now, let's check it, right? Let's look at the trend. Which way is it trending downwards? How's it looking, Brody? Looking bearish. <laughs> so you should have got out a long time ago. But, but, yeah, once it breaks 27.38, Brody, it ain't looking so good, baby boy. That's okay. No, no, no. I know you're still in the profit, so we're, you're good. Plus, remember, you're so young. You've got the world ahead of you. Yeah, How much I mean, you want to bet? How much you want to bet you'll be at Puerto Rico my first week of school opening in the future? How much you want to bet? I can already see it. You want to bet? <laughs> I bet you all your Ethereum fortune. Oh, wait. It'll be spent on the school. I will have zero, I will have zero Ethereum when everything <laughs> is said and done. No, because I love the fact that I'm going to be able to say when the media is there and everyone, a school built by traders, for traders, by traders. Boom. <laughs> 
Boom. And not and not only that, I I realized this this seminar. It just hit me. I was like, everyone who, who took a seminar, who does a one on one, who bought, buys a painting, because that money goes in there too. Those that buy paintings, by the way, you're an early, star, you're an angel investor in me. You're an angel investor. You trust me. So you're literally, and you're you're. I'm a startup. Technically speaking, if you think about it, I'm like, what do you, what do you call those people on Shark Tank that go on Shark Tank? Investors, right? That's what they're called, I think. I yeah. don't watch that show. So I'm a, you're literally investing in me. So boom. And and I pay, I guess you could say dividends, but not really. But how do you get paid back? My school will be open to you 24-7. It will be there whenever you want. Boom. Never have to pay again. So it hit me. So boom. Cool. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there first week. I know. I can already see it. I can already see it. Yeah. I mean, so just, just to speak on this and then uh, I'll, I'll hop off, let someone else come on. I mean, swing the, the swing trade, um, I could have had a better plan for sure. I could have paid more attention to it. I didn't want it to be a thing that I'm paying a lot of attention to and it's going to take away from my scalps. It's just something is that... It? Is it? No. Oh. No, okay. it's not. But if I paid more attention to it, maybe I would have got out 32 bucks. Ah, exactly. You know, I was talking to Mr. Peters. He said, Professor, at any given moment, I have a million dollars in the stock market. I'm like, God damn. God damn. And he's like, well, of course, he's at a level where he can analyze all of his tickers. You know, I, I know I'm at that level, even though all I have is Ethereum and that's it. But when I trade, I have MRO. But at the end of the day, I literally revolve around two things. My whole life revolves around Ethereum and MRO. Not all at the same time. So I don't know how people, not again, not Mr. Peters, I'm talking about regular people can open up so many swing positions because you just said it, right? If you were giving this more attention, you should have got out anywhere in the 30s, if not the 30s, the 28s, if not the 28s, at least the 27s, because boom. Yeah. But cryptocurrency will rally in the winter and boom. Yeah, boom. for sure. And I'm not, I'm not upset about it, but um, I didn't want it to be something to take away from my scalp. So I just say I didn't pay too much attention to it. Had I probably would have had better profits on it, but it is what it is. I'll make sure, I'm, I'll make sure to get out in the profits anyway. But um, baby boy, I got you by doing this. I'm not a swing trader, but you should be doing this. I know. I know you but, got me. What am I about to say? I don't know. <laughs> so why'd you say I know? No, I said, you said, I got you. I said, I know. Oh, okay. You ready? You should have gone to training you, Brody. And once you entered at your price point, you would have mapped out where the resistance is and set a training view alert at each level. Boom. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. And if not that, then this, you could have done this. Ready? I'm so ready. You could have set an alert about the 20 EMA. You can do that too, by the way. Right click the 20 EMA. And anytime it crosses below the 20, get out. So if you look at this, look at today's live. I swear to God, I love every time I go live. It makes my day. If you notice, wait, there's too many support resistance lines. This is bothering me. No, it's fine. Um, you are good. You are good. You are good. And officially right here, it breaks at 30.42. You want to get an alert. Oh, the, the, the 20 EMA line has been broken. Go exit out your goddamn position. Yes. Yes. I understand. But I'm not, un, I'm not unhappy about it at all. I'll walk out with you. No, no, no. I know you're not, Rory, because you're still in the profit. All I'm saying is start doing this in the future. And people watching this right now and the people watching this yeah, as a yeah. rerun in the future, do this if you have your swings. Set your alerts on the two hour. And boom, once it crosses below, get the hell out. Or even better, you could have made a trend line like this. I'm just dropping you all the things you could do. Um, you could have done this. Mark taught me this one. I meant to mark the one. Oh, magnetron. Boom. 
And the second this was crossed, so you, you would have got the early indicator right here. You would have got the notification, trend line has been broken in pre-market right here in the $31 range. You would have, and then boom. 100%. Yeah. These are I all did, the did. ways you can set your alerts if you have a lot of positions on swing trades. This is like a whole live on its own. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks, Professor. You're welcome, Brody. Anytime. Always great chatting with you, man. <laughs> Same as well. I always love when you guys hop on, especially you, Brody. It's always fun. Sweet. Well, I'll see you. By the way, planning a trip to Egypt for Christmas. So if you're ever, if you're down. Egypt? Yeah, baby. Holy moly, gazoli. So if you're down, let's make it happen. Um, one of the traders, if you know him, Mustafa, he lives in Egypt. He, he invited me. And I said, bro, let's do it. He's like, bro, I'll take you tomb raidering. I said, I've always wanted to be a tomb raider. <laughs> <laughs> you think MRO profits are good? Wait until you raid some tombs. <laughs> Wait, okay, this is being recorded in live. I'm not talking about stealing from tombs. Tomb raidering, meaning you're like hopping with a camel and going place to place. I'm not talking literally stealing from tombs. That's oh. not what I'm <laughs> I, this is being recorded and it's live. I, I'm not getting in trouble with the Egyptian authorities. That is not my goal. <laughs> That is not my goal. That just means he knows he's an Egyptian. He's like from there. So he knows all the ins and outs and the cool spots. So got you. Got you. Boom. Cool beans. Well, thanks, Professor. I'll watch the rest Yo. of the live. Appreciate you, my man. I'll, of course, see you buddy. I'll see you. All right. Let's keep going down the line, everybody. Let's answer some questions. Again, if you don't know Brody, he's awesome. Go follow him. All right. Let's go. Questions, questions, questions. Oh, here we go. That's where I left off. Uh, Professor, did you sell your crypto? No, Trace. I didn't sell it yet. I didn't sell it yet. Chiba to a dollar? I thought I answered that already. Oh, I did answer these questions. Um, he put it on his story? What did he put on his story? <laughs> wait, wait. Did, did, did Danny P put on his story that he bought Shiba? That's what I'm being told right now? I got to call Danny. I got to tell Danny. No one in Weld Squad trades like you, though. Your style, I don't see, Professor. You're not replaceable. Oh, word. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, James. If anyone ever needs help in Weld Squad, just drop one of my videos. Let them know about the free course. Professor Danny P really did buy Shiva. I believe, okay, if you're saying it, um, Sebastian, I believe it. I believe it. Why 6K for your target? It's going to run. It's going to run. You'll see. You'll see what happens. Probably going to take big profits probably going to take big profits oh yes six it's six figures account so it, it'll be massive um it's a good bull uh bull case bitcoin goes to 80k what do you think the estimate price will be of riot i'm asking because my entry was 51 dollars, 335 listen cold gen when btc runs all the entire crypto market runs riot and morrow run with it so boom it'll just go wild uh, Saint, uh, where can you where can you scout crypto? I tried it in Weibo and got stuck because I didn't realize the upcharge limit order. Saint, uh, Coinbase Pro, boom. Keep holding. I will hold. Take pro listen, listen, Diamond Hands people. Let's have a conversation, Diamond Hands. Let's go. E T H U S. Let's have a conversation, Diamond Hands. Let's have a conversation. All right, you ready, Diamond Hands people, crypto people, Ethereum people? Check it out here, right? There have been so many opportunities. I have been in Ethereum in all of this, all this chaos you see on the board. I have been in Ethereum. I could have taken from support to resistance, support to resistance. Imagine taking a six-figure crypto account. Stay with me here. I'm not going to say the exact number. Imagine having a six-figure crypto account, okay, and knowing how to trade like the way I know how to trade and not having to trade every day, of course. But when it goes to resistance, you get out. When it goes to support, you get back in. Support, six figures. Resistance, six figures. And remember, Ethereum doesn't move $5, $2, $0.40. It moves thousands of dollars in its moves. Now, just do the math on that because I did do the math on that. Let me tell you something right now. That six-figure crypto account would have been seven figures if I did that. 
it would have been seven figure account by now if I did that, but I didn't because I was a diamond hands. But just I'm, I'm going to predict the future for you. 2022 next year will be the most volatile crypto market ever. Mark my words. Today is October 26, 2021. Yep. October 26, 2021. And 2022 of cryptocurrencies will be wild moves. And imagine trading. Again, I don't have to do it every day. It'll be like maybe a few weeks, once a month, where I will go in at support, six-figure account, Ethereum. Again, I'm only in Ethereum. And get out at resistance. Thousands of dollars moves. Six figures, thousands of dollars. Once a month, depending on how volatile it is, once or twice a month every single month, the whole year. And for those that know me, that I could take that six-figure account and turn it into a seven-figure next year, probably more than double-digit seven figures. You know what I'm saying? Eight, why not? Let's see the possibilities. Because what Mark Palumbo, my mentor, who owns a crypto hedge fund, is telling me, the crypto will be extremely volatile next year. So boom. And I'm not talking about going from support to resistance at low-level numbers. I'm talking about the major key levels of support resistance. For example, Let's go back in time. For those watching, for those watching me long enough, forget that I've been saying it since it was 400. Forget that. Let's, let's just talk about now. Forget the past that far behind. The knock, knock. The boom is coming. Once the boom happens, it's going to explode. Imagine taking a six-figure account Six, six figures, right? Six figure account. Cashing out here. Waiting. You, I already know because you can go watch. I already said it. Anything below 2000 is gold. 17, 1700 was gold too. Going back in at the low levels with the six figure account. Exiting here or exiting here. Either or. That's from seventeen hundred all the way to almost three thousand dollars. You doubled the six figures, doubled again, and then you just get you just get in and you wait. Consolidation, get in, get out at resistance. That's doubling the six figure account every month, roughly, or a couple of months in, doubling six figures, doubling six figures. It just becomes a law of compounding. That's one of the things Einstein, Einstein said, the seventh wonder of the world or whatever. It's something like that. If you Google it, it's the power of compounding. You just think about the possibilities of what's possible when a, a, a crypto currency moves thousands of dollars. We all look for, let's talk about stocks for a second, right? We all look for stocks that move $10, $15. We're like, oh my God, like that Donald Trump stock moved 175 something dollars. That's cool. You get hyped for that, right? Imagine that same hype, that same madness about the fact that cryptocurrency moves thousands of dollars. Keep that in mind. Imagine trading it. And you don't have to trade that once a day. The crazy volatility of like the Donald Trump stock with halting and all that nonsense. You make, you trade it thousands of dollars in a month, in a couple of months. You make your alerts. You know what support resistance are. You know what the key levels are. And boom, that's, that's what it is. So we have to start moving away from this holding, this diamond hand stuff and get into reality where you've got to start collecting profits. You have to. We can't live in this fantasy world. Can't we really? I, I feel like a lot of us are like delusional, including me, in the fact that we think it's just never going to stop going up. Why not, again, stay in crypto, but why not start taking profit and get back in when it falls, get back in? And this is not a daily thing. This is once a month or whenever it falls at a low level of support again consolidates boom like i did a um a one-on-one -on -one with someone the other day and all they wanted to look at was their uh crypto portfolio professor just give me the, all the support resistance levels please where are the old ones where should i because she and her husband are traders they're just traders of cryptocurrencies they just wanted me to sit down and let them know exactly what the levels are because they said they're making so much just from trading crypto so i'm like damn that's kind of cool Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. All right, let me go through the questions now. Uh,
Yeah, they do hit you with a little higher price, but you had a decent profit when it shouldn't affect your final profit. Yeah, it's, the fees are on Coinbase Pro are very little, very, very minor. Do not use Weibo for crypto. Please get off of that. Gotcha. That makes sense. Thank you, Saint. I appreciate you. For swing trading, draw the trend line? Yeah, of course, Daryl. Of course. On the two hour? Yep. BV, what's up? Can you talk about Tesla? Sure, I'll talk about Tesla. Uh, let me just answer some questions, BV. If I don't bring it up again, just um, drop it again. I'll do it. ETH gang, you know it, David. Why on the two hour? It just looks better. There's nothing wrong with the four hour. There's nothing wrong with the one hour. I just like the way the two hour looks. It's a preference thing. It's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. LFG, LFG. Um, what is what is 6K target? Someone mentioned in the chat. QA, that's where my target is to selling the crypto. Once the next run happens, we're waiting for the boom. As you can see behind me, we got a knock knock. That's my strategy. Um, I'm going to get out because when that pump happens, it's going to come down extremely aggressively once that pump this happens. So boom. I'm not going to say what how much I'll make on it, but let's just say it, the numbers are just insane. It's insane. It's just insane. Cryptocurrency is the greatest wealth creation of our generation. Boom. I would say lifetime, to be honest. Vlad, Professor, I meant, why did you say you expect a strong build block at ETH after it goes to a particular shift scale? Because anything that moves up very aggressively comes right back down, Vlad. I'll give you this. I'll give you this example. But not right now, but when uh, Bitcoin was in the 60 case previously, I cashed out my Bitcoin because I knew it was it went up too aggressively. Again, the, the, the lives are not there right now. They're gone. But whenever they're back, um, I predicted that it would. And I sold it and people made fun of me on the live. I still remember. Like, are you stupid, professor? What are you doing? I'm like, um, it, it's moved up too aggressive at 60K. So I sold it and I bought my electric motorcycle, which was $25,000. Um, so boom, that's why. I know that once the boom happens with Ethereum, it's going to run up super aggressively and come right back down hard. I'm going to get right back in, right back in. I'm never, I'm never using my Ethereum profits for personal gains. I'm just going to keep recycling. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Boom. In ETH at 1500 BTC since February, 8700. Also have Matic. Nice, James. Very nice. I love it. Moises, eighth, eighth wonder of the world. Thank you, Moises. Yes, he said it's the eighth wonder of the world. Thank you. Looking at it next week from Mark. Nice. Holding crypto at least till collapse of America. What the frick? James, take it easy. I think we got bigger problems if America collapses. We got bigger problems than Ethereum holding on to that. Electricity issues. That, that'll be a bigger problem. That's the time China will jump in. Um, QA, so would you be selling your position right now since it's the second knock? No, the second knock already happened. The boom is coming. I didn't sell it because the boom is coming right now. It's holding very steadily, as you can see. No need to sell right now. For what? For what? For what? For what? Are you selling it? Selling no reason to sell any of this. Are you crazy? We're looking good right now. We're looking good. What's the best platform to trade crypto? Uh, Sassy, it is Coinbase Pro. Boom. What is the best platform trick? I just answered that. Professor, what brokers would you recommend for crypto? Coinbase Pro, Allen. You're welcome, Vlad. Boom. All right, guys. That's a wrap with the live. Looked at the tickers, talked about crypto, talked about mindset, talked about the seminar. That's a wrap. Um, boom. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate your time, um, your appreciation, your kindness. When you come on the show, it's, it's in the comments. You guys are always positive and awesome. So. Thank you, everyone, so much. I appreciate you. Whatever you need, the free trading course, link is down below. If you want to message me, the link is down below. Go to my website, click on the little blue paper, paper airplane, send me a message, anything you need. The next seminar is in December. The dates are on the site. Again, you click. If you ever want to message me, there's a little blue circle. It's right here. Click on that. It takes you right to me. All the trading books you want, the trading platforms, all the tech you need is right here. Um, my free trading journal. Please use that. If you want to sign up for the seminar, just click there. Boom, boom, boom. Everything I teach is right here. All the stuff.
what you learn every day. Day one, day two, day three, boom. There it is. These are the last and final dates of the year, right here. So boom. You want 150 bucks off? I'll get you 150 bucks off. Just message me um, on Telegram. I'll get you 150 bucks off. That's a wrap. Thank you, everyone, so much. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. How much percent can you make with your strategy daily scalping tomorrow, for example? Biro, it depends. It, it, it depends. It depends on your mindset. So boom, it all depends on that. Jeanette, you're welcome. Misfit, you're welcome. Good night. Thank you, uh, Mark. Thank you, Tracy. You're welcome, everyone. That's a wrap. Good night, everybody. What a great day. Oh, I'll see you all on Friday. I'll see you all on Friday. Trade smart. Trade smart. Trade well. Boom. And it's frozen. <laughs> oh, why do you do this to me, Zoom? It's frozen. 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 I've never seen Frozen. Can you believe that, people? I've never seen Frozen. Yo, my mustache is turning white. This is turning white, by the way. That's crazy. Getting old, baby. Getting old. I I'm trying to get off of the live, but it's it takes forever. It takes forever. Goddamn Zoom.